and this entire look from the rider's perspective it does not make you feel that you're riding a small bike it does not feel like a 200 cc motorcycle it feels much much bigger there goes the older one All right, folks, so here we have the new KTM RC200. Let's go over the changes from front to rear. There are lots of changes to talk about, so stick around and stay tuned. But if you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing and let's get started now. So the entire front fairing is all new. It has uh, now got this LED, signature LED uh, setup that is borrowed from the 390 and the fairing is completely new. This whole front fairing, what you're seeing, it has been created, it has been designed for better aerodynamics. And one thing which I would like to point out, in images and pictures, it does not look as good, but in flesh, it looks bloody brilliant. I'll be honest, it looks very beautiful. The mirrors are new, now they are foldable mirrors, previously it was not, now you can fold them just the way you can do it on let's say uh, Pulsar 220 <laughs> which is very popular for that and this whole thing is brand new the steering geometry is new and this part what you're seeing here it's made up of cast aluminum alloy now so it is functional as well as it looks beautiful plus it is rigid as well the instrument console again borrowed from the KTM 250 adventure um, there is a small gap that they have given in here in which they have beautifully put that sticker of KTM. It looks absolutely stunning. The wheels are new as well and as you can see now it's a 5 spoke alloy wheel and they have in, in fact changed the entire assembly of the front disc plate just because they wanted to save weight over the outgoing model. and. The frame, the front remains to be the same. This part is what it has been. This part is now new. This is a bolt-on subframe. This is something which you have seen on the 390 Duke. But then on RC, this entire subframe has been specially designed for the step-up seat. And the seat is new. The seat, you know, the cushioning is new. The, the entire seat cover, the fuel tank is new as well. The fuel tank size has gone up as well and this one thing which i do not like is this bottom part somehow i think that ktm could have you know given a smaller fairing kind of a thing they would have extended the fairing underneath that would have made it look even better again dual channel abs this comes with a supermoto mode that means you can switch off the rear abs and in case we want to go all bonkers sliding the rear which is not really recommended in case unless you are a you know professional racer anyways that's all about the new changes whatever is new on this bike now let's go riding and see how it feels to ride let's fire it up let's listen to the exhaust they have not made a change to the exhaust note but let's listen to it typical KTM sound all right so the riding posture is a lot more comfortable than the previous model you do crouch towards the front on the handlebar but then uh, there's not much of a strain on the wrist the way it used to be earlier because of the flatter handlebar this has there is a rise on this that's the reason why you now we feel more relaxed and more composed Let's see how the suspension works on this broken road once. I do not want to take it in the ruts. And as always, the motorcycle is rev happy. This engine has always been known to be a rev happy engine. There is no difference. There is no denying the fact that it is. it still holds the same charm that it used to have. Or what it has been popularly known for. The gear shifts are very precise and the entire aerodynamics you know the entire seating posture and the way this bike has been designed it pushes you to you know go beyond your limits which is a very good thing in itself it can turn novice riders into 
more professional riders that's how capable this bike is flicking through the traffic isn't a problem at all okay we have some cops checking the bikes here looks like they wanted to stop but they did not <laughs> okay the suspension is pretty good I mean it's not stiff it's not soft there's a decent balance between the firmness and the softness so long rides potholes bad roads good roads they should be able to handle all of that pretty well as far as I can think of And the coverage in the mirror, whatever you're seeing behind is good enough because anyways they are all adjustable as well, you can fold them. So in case if you are in very bad traffic, you can apparently fold the mirrors and just make your way through but then it's not advisable again. And as you can see right now, we are in bumper to bumper traffic, something which is very usual in Bangalore but then there is no engine heating. and. They have done a change to the radiator as well. They have borrowed the radiator from the 250 Adventure. So it is gets a curved radiator and the heat management is very, very good so far. Otherwise, I mean, if it was the older generation or some other motorcycle in this category, it would have heated up by now. Okay, not bad. Let's take it through this. Yeah, the suspension is good. I am loving the suspension. It's definitely tuned towards the comfort. It does not bottom out. It at least did not bottom out in that old one. And the new seat is very comfortable. They have changed the padding. They have changed the design. They have changed the fabric that covers the seat. It's more like a suede leather now. And it is very comfortable to say the least. Now the problem with the old RCs were because of the hard seat and because of the design, the committed riding posture it you know, demanded people had problems people had concerns when they wanted to tour but then that problem should be resolved now it still is decently committed but it's not as committed as it used to be previously <laughs> chucking it into tiny little gaps isn't as complicated yeah the mirrors do stick out a little bit compared to uh, you know uh, what I would expect it to do, but then yeah, it's easy. It's not as complicated on this All right, so the brakes are pretty good. I just used the front I did not use the rear. I normally do not use the rear a lot, but then the front has a good bite It has a good progressive feeling you can you actually get a decent feedback from the brake pads about what's going on in the front It's not like dropping an anchor the way it used to be or the way it is on the 390 Duke but then this brake gives a good feel I mean it does increase the confidence of the rider to a certain extent because of the progressive nature incredible I imagine I've just been riding this bike for like five six minutes now and it feels that I have been owning this bike for quite some time it's so good it just you get this feeling of being connected to the bike and that's the only thing which inspires confidence in the riders and another good thing is that you know the seat the tank is narrow the seat is narrow here so for shorter riders to plant the feet on the ground that should not be a concern at all which is uh, a good thing when you are in the city traffic you know this thing helps a lot you can easily plant your feet on the ground if anything you are if at all you are anything below above five six you should be able to plant your feet properly on the ground because of the narrow design of the seat and this entire look from the rider's perspective it does not make you feel that you're riding a small bike it does not feel like a 200 cc motorcycle it feels much much bigger there goes the older one So there it is my dear friends the KTM RC 200 the 2021 or 22 version whatever you want to call it commendable job done by both Bajaj and KTM in designing it in pricing it primarily and it's a fun little motorcycle 
you can use it for commuting you can use it for your racetrack in case if you are someone who's into motorcycle racing or you can use it even for your highway duties this thing is like a do-it-all product a do-it-all machine so i hope that this video comes out to be of some help in case if it does don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and acquaintances and i will see you guys again in another video until then stay safe ride safe and god bless you all bye bye